Fun in here. <laughs> it's my man's juice, juice birthday, man. We gotta turn up today. What's his name? You know, we about to have fun. <laughs> you feel me? Didn't know my name. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, my, what's your name? Get your name real quick. Nah, I know. But we gonna have a great show for y'all today, you know what I'm saying? As you always do. Some live topics for y'all. Definitely need y'all input again. Look, man. These phone lines, you know what I'm saying? And everybody better call in today, man. I don't wanna talk around, around the phone lines. If you ain't calling in hollering on the topic, man, I need y'all to call in and show me some love on my birthday. Twitter, whatever. That's what I need. Turn up! Ooh, Randy too born in here, man. It's his birthday. You got to act like his birthday, man. You got to just be tripping in here. It is yeah, my man's bro. birthday, man. Yeah, it's your birthday, Randy. Love you know, club. It's your birthday, yeah, here. Randy. 20 ball. Yeah. Some I'm light. Need it. Know. Weekend going to smack. I need it. We ain't there yet, though. I heard a couple people was listening to us when we was in here freestyling. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, we was in here fooling, bro. What's what we doing? Hey, I was Everybody was here fooling. I was freestyling crazy. Five fingers to death? Yeah. It is Wordplay Wednesday, though. Oh, so y'all better get them bars together for the end of the show because you know we coming with them. You know, y'all got to be ready for the four bars. You got to be ready for the, bar, the bars. Man. We got to hear it all. It's going to get crazy. It looked like everybody going to drop some bars in here today. Everybody was all happy. I think Avery going to drop some and bars Avery, for the first time. For the first time. Wow. For the first time. Wow. 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 This is huge. Young Avery going to drop some bars. Because if you don't, I'm going to be so disappointed. No. I, 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 I might be locked out the room tonight. You got some crazy bars. <laughs> I feel it today. And then put Avery on the hot seat. Just put me on the hot seat. Uh oh, look at he's oh. on his notepad right now. He got his bars on the hot seat. Put my notepad. I've been on so long. I just need him. Chilling. We need him. Everybody's all over my back. And I just got to sit up here and I'm going to clean some of these bars up. Oh, man, yeah. Everybody call it in with clean bars. Clean, hey, you should know clean that everything now. today, bro. Y'all know, know y'all on the phone. I wasn't line. ready to come in. Y'all be Everybody just put me in the hot seat. Hey, man, you got to do what you got to do. Everybody chill, man. Look, though. We about to give y'all a preview of these uh, topics real quick. Oh yeah, real quick. And let y'all know what we got going on today. So, uh, first topic we got, um, can you love two people at the same time? Which is, some yeah. people, I know people who say yes and no. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear what y'all got to say yeah. about this. It's going to be a real, real tricky topic because we got opinions from both sides and different views, different perspectives. We want to hear both of them. Definitely, you know and again, we definitely want some ladies, some uh, yeah. the, the, the female input, man. Ladies calling in. Females, don't be scared of us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta take it back to yeah. Monday, man. We, 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 we here relax, man. Yeah, everybody friends on. again. We ain't gonna be just screaming <laughs> to nobody. So it's all good. Yeah, man. Last week was kind of wild. You know what I'm saying we definitely mellowed out a little bit. So I mean, it's gonna be a great show for everybody. Definitely, man. I don't know. Some people told me they liked it when we was in here pumped like that. They dude. like I ain't it. Gonna lie. That's what I, I said they was so. all they was all scared, man. Everybody came <laughs> off. I heard. They didn't want to call in. I heard you liked it, man. I heard we had way more listeners. Everybody than was like, "Oh my gosh, y'all so rude." <laughs> <laughs> I heard we had way more listeners than what we thought we did. We was all in here screaming and yelling. Wow. <laughs> hey, who knows? Ain't nothing wrong with that though. All right, but uh, well, y'all know y'all know the number four one nine four four eight twenty two hundred. Yep. Call in and let us know what you feel about that. Call in and let us know what you feel about that. Can you love two people at the same let's time, Let's go. Bro? Let's get out. We got birthday bangers. I'm done playing with them. Stop yeah. talking to them. Stop 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 talking it feels like you can't live without her, but it's not really that. You know what I'm saying? You're going through the honeymoon stages and everything appears to be great. So when do you know it's real? You know That's a good question. When do you know it's real? When do you know it's real, man? That's a real good question. That could just be a part of the, the, the topic for real. When do you know it's real? Throw that on. No, no, don't throw that on. Answer the question right now. Yeah, when do you know it's real? real? That's a good question. You know what I'm saying? You're asking me a No, I'm asking you. Everybody. Y'all said that there's no time limit. You can fall in love at first sight. 
So I want to know. All right, hold on, bro. All right. So the only reason I said it, it's not a time limit on it because I mean you got to think about a lot of stuff. If it's gonna be genuine, it's just gonna happen. You feel me? It's not gonna be like all right after I like I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feel this way. You can't tell yourself that I'm not gonna feel this way after. You set limits a year or yeah yeah you can't set no limits for yourself you feel me right but I mean at the same time it's like it, it, it's kind of based on like how you see things and how you you know you like you feel about that certain that certain person you feel me like if I could if I could see a girl and be like yo yeah I mean she look good and all but I mean she ain't my girl yeah it's like no I, I mean I, I'm not gonna. Consider she myself be nice. be, being loved. You're right. You, you, yeah, exactly what you were saying. Like so she might you, be nice. She might be nice, but, but she's not my girl. So can you be? So can you be in a relationship without having the title on it? Without the title. Without the title. Yeah. Yeah. Without the title. No, because we hear this whole. You can be in a relationship. <laughs> 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 I just feel like you can though, man. Like the title is nothing but listen to like, man. The title is like, Instagram. The title is Twitter. Hold on. Yeah. Right. What I what I was about, what, I, what I was like just about to say, bro. Was just you don't need the title. You just don't need it. If you just know it's there, you just know it's genuine about it. Then you don't have wow. to do anything about but, it. But, but, but like, but be honest. At the same time, it, then that's that's just immature. At the same time, <laughs> no female you're talking to wants to hear that nonsense. I don't care. I want the girl in the answer. This question. They, they, they no, forget that. the last one. I want I want to hear all females you call in the and tell me do y'all need the title? I want to hear that right now. Y'all call in four one nine four four eight twenty two hundred. Let us know. I feel like if you know what it is, you don't have to sit up here and try to just. You know, put a title on it and just tell everybody like this goes along with the whole social media thing we talked about last time. Look, you man, gotta keep putting right. a stamp on everything. That's stupid. We all know females. Number one question they ask when things are getting serious. They ask you what the the the, 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 what the, are the we? crazy yeah the crazy what question. The what are we? So what do we? And if you about? come crazy <laughs> with, a, with a silly answer, you know she's gonna be all over your back. And you know who's gonna be on your back even more? Oh. We haven't brought her up in a long time. Ashley. Oh, no, 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 Wow, big shout out, Jayla, you're yeah. back. Shout out to Jayla. Wow, she hasn't heard the show in years. The, the working one who just can't listen, she's here. Thanks for listening, Jayla. Yeah, I really just stopping by. Yeah. <laughs> just stopping by. Just, thanks, thanks for stopping for the by. quick tune. In. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah. So what I'm saying is uh, you know, the title thing. I think it's just it's just for females to get them a sense of entitlement. You know, like. Like, uh, you, th if a guy was to tell you, like, well, <laughs> if a guy was, you know what I'm saying, a guy tell you, like, you know, I don't feel comfortable giving you a title right now, then she feels like she's not entitled to that guy, like, th like he's not exclusive to her. You know, it makes her feel like, like he's just talking to more females because he's not giving her that title, which is the reason why they want that title. Right. And in all reality, he can talk to other females with or without the title. It just really doesn't matter to me you know what i'm saying it's just it's just that that's where, definitely a good point though like i mean no, he's can, can, no i'm saying that's definitely a good point though y'all could be boyfriend and girlfriend and he can still have a number of females on the side so it's like a title is just a word the word girlfriend boyfriend is just but at the same time, time. Is. so with this title without the title being there are you single to the rest of the world so the rest of the world thinks you're single and are you living your life as you're single or it's not about what look, are you man. doing it's not about the rest are, of the world it's about what you are think. you living your life like you're single if you're just if you're without a title the other person are you your own own yes, yes but if you know like i said before if y'all really that like grown y'all know what it is you won't be out here going crazy like that because you know that you really are in a committed relationship you know you just know what it is you yourself know what it is when well, you can sit here and admit yeah okay well you know i feel you know this way about this girl you know, and I really don't want nobody else. Then you just know what it is. Female take the plate of waiting game, man. That's that's on any level. So I'm saying, so from a that's the true. girlfriend level. If you're engaged for years, we've been on your back. 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 we is it healthy to come out of a relationship and then, then to just declare yourself into a new one? No, it's not. No, it's not healthy. healthy. No, it's not healthy. Okay, then you so got to think about people. You know, people bring baggage. It depends on from other relationships. I think it man, depends on they what they got cheated on and right. and don't trust people. You know, what I mean, people got 
It depends on um. I think it all depends on what age we are. Because when we was younger, you know, it was just nothing. But now that we older, um, we really be in like committed relationships. We're not just in ones that last for two weeks. You know, like we still little kids. We, you know, we be in ones that last for you know years. You know, um, months, years. months, years. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Right. I just still feel like uh, because of that, because y'all do got baggage, y'all do know each other, y'all just so accustomed to a whole lot of things. She got your t-shirts, she got your some shoes over your house, you left over there, got a whole lot invested, a whole lot of things invested. And I feel like you go jump into another one, you just don't have time to get all your stuff together. I feel like, I mean, hey, we getting all over the place. Yeah, yeah, this, but no, I, I, I mean, yeah, it's such a crazy topic. But that's why we really need some of these females to call in, because I just remembered what Coco said about this, man. Hey, shout out to her if she's listening with, with Ray out there at Kent. But how she said that, you know, she's, Coco, been, in, she's been in relationships before, but not necessarily with a title. You feel me? Like, her and her and the dude could have been, you know, they could have been messing with each other for, I mean, long periods of time. But, you know, they just didn't necessarily have the title to go with it. But then she still considered it as a relationship. See, that's what I'm saying. So, you, The title it didn't just be a phrase. Again, like, you know what I'm saying? Randy asked, are you... Would you consider yourself single? And that all depends how far you are into your relationship. Like, uh, yes. you know what I'm saying? If you and her just start talking. If yes. you, all right, here's my question here. If you are living your life uh, committed to that person without the title, what's the difference be be between just being a, being a boyfriend? What's holding you back? There is no difference. What's holding you back? You're doing the same things. There's no difference. It's just a, day, a you word. Do, you do do whatever you want. Then to what do. are we doing? So like you, you literally telling every single girl out here. If you tell them, oh, uh, let's just have a not have a title. You're just talking in circles. That's what you're telling them right now. How is that talking in circles? Because you're doing the same <laughs> thing. You're doing the same thing. She's gonna say, just what's the point? Why don't you want to be my girlfriend? Or why don't you want to be my boyfriend? That's the her next question is gonna and be. And what if he tells her that he's not ready for for a relationship? Like a serious you are in a relationship right now, though. That's what, you, that's what you just said. If you would be able to consider that, like what y'all had previously, but before the title, if y'all could consider that, what would, that was a relationship, then what? That's what he was saying, like. Well, then it's like the same. I don't understand that. Then she wants the title. Then you, then you're in the corner. If what do you the say? Same. Yeah. It, what are we playing around? Think about it. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Oh, let's try this. Let's try one more time. Let me see my are blown. Okay, okay, ask it to me one more time, and I'm gonna come in like a savage. Like I always right. do. All right. Now, if what the things you were doing prior to not having a title, if you're doing everything you are doing, um, just without the bro boyfriend title, what's holding you back? Why can't you just accept the boyfriend role that you're already in? Why can't you just accept the boyfriend role? Why can't you just accept the title? Yeah. That's what he's saying, basically. This is just, why can't you just accept the title? Yeah. yeah. For a lack of a better word, um, if he just can't accept the title, that man's just a female dog. He's tired. He's playing around with it. He just, he just does it. He's just... Wait a minute. Afraid of, he's just afraid of commitment. It's just, it's just like one of them dudes that get all the way to the altar and they just, I just can't do it and they just run away. It makes no sense. You invested all this time and all this money, you just can't go through with it. I'm going to miss you, sir. Oh, oh my God. God. You, sir, if you're listening right now, you feel guilty about it. You, sir, have commitment issues. <laughs> you, sir, have wet feet. You, sir, are afraid of life. Wet feet. <laughs> we got a false call. Oh, my God. Oh my God. It's about time. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Hey, what is this? Yeah, who was this? It's seen. 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 It's
make your opinions based on the knowledge. Because of the fact that if you sit up here and y'all have been in whatever you want to call it for two years, and it's been serious for this long, and y'all sit up here and y'all don't have any kind of title, you're playing around. Well, see, I'm missing two years. I'm missing the whole different story. Okay. There was no two year part. He just added that in. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because what we talking about, and sometimes what we talking about, like, like, um, longer relationships, we were talking about, like, two week joints, were we? I'm sorry, I didn't know. But there, there was no time limit on it. Alright, if there's no time limit, and you can put a shot in, and you're just messing around or whatever, and you can have that title, you should, you should have the time to get that title. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I thought her was Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Put me on. I all over. Wait, hold on, Randy. Want to say something? Look, man, it was a long, drawn-out process for me, man. Don't sit out here name dropping when you don't know facts. <laughs> how, <laughs> how long did it take you to put the title on your relationship, Randy? It took me. Sure, man. I knew it. When did y'all start talking and when did y'all get together? How long did it take you to get a, a title on your relationship? I knew it for I knew it since July. I knew it since July and we got together on Feb in February. Alright, thanks for calling right, in, bro. Alright, bro. But here that, that's seven months. Oh, know. oh, that Randy just gave us like a seven month interval from the time he started talking to his now girlfriend who's been together for about a year now, a little bit over a year. A seven month interval from the time he started talking to her and then getting with her. Well, you know, tying it down. So, so was what it, was it Randy who was playing? So was it Randy that was playing? Was, was Randy, it Randy who was, was playing? Randy chopping up the female? I think was Randy the female one? He would have to be. Wow. Oh. Hold on. I'm oh. going to be on this man in a minute. Oh, oh my God. God. Because Ray, you know what, just give you just give your opinion, get off the air, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So what if you um so what if you are in the long drawn out relationship like Randy had for seven months and he didn't give her the title? What then, Ray? For seven months. Seven long months. Seven long months. Probably from his friendship for lack of a better word. His friendship. But you, but you know, but you know for a fact, you know better than anybody else because you know Randolph. He wasn't talking to anybody else. So what was wrong with he him? He had the perfect relationship. You said what? PJ so you know for a fact, PJ wasn't talking to anybody else. So what was his problem? <laughs> Manny's side was that why do you have to take long to get into a relationship, but yet he did it, making him a hypocrite. I'm just asking a good question. Well, answer the question then because I want to know what your reasoning for of holding back seven months and then asking that question to us as if we were the bad guys. See, the reason why I asked ask the question. Hey, Ray, um, we about to, we're about to get all over uh, Randy back. We'll call you right back. PJ, my bad. Thanks for calling in. So, like you said. Yeah, so like you Randy, said. it's your turn. You, you're you in the, the hot seat right he's now. He's in the interrogation seat. You were, in, you were just in a long, drawn-out talking phase where, if I believe correctly, she was holding your back about the end of relationship. You true, weren't man. talking to anybody else. And were we not the ones that said Stop playing around with him? <laughs> yeah, we, we we told Randy to stop playing around. Where's the wisdom from the men in the booth with no girlfriends? But um, here's my take. What happened 
is we were in a long talk, long drawn out talking stage, and um, you just you got to fill out that person, no matter however long it takes. But at the end of the day, I you thought you believed that love can take a couple of days. How long was it before uh, you realized right. that you could love her? That the you love her? The L word doesn't come too quick. That well, when did you know. drop the L word with her? Do you love her? I can't even tell you right now. But do you love her? Yes. Okay. I think Randy's going against all his words. I just don't know. I don't know. Come on, Dr. Phil, I'm on, I'm on, on birds with <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think I you're know, going man. against all oh, your words. Man. You just trying to. I was just asking the good questions. The reason why, you know what I'm saying? I was in uh, once a predicament where I was playing around. And men are, as Ray said, men in, in his room are playing around. So well, I'm going to ask a good question. I'm not, wow. I'm not, I'm not on no back. Let me just ask you a question. Did you feel like when you was just, you know, testing the waters with um, this, you know, this female, we're not going to name drop on this show. Um, did you feel like that you could have had something better? Is that why you played around? I'm, just, I'm, I'm really, I'm not on your back. I'm just asking the question. I mean, you just because some dude, because hey, yo, I mean, because you know, some dudes are just out here fishing. Hey, yo, you know, you know, hey, swing around. I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna take a little bit of this off his back, bro. Man. Hey, yo, he has some I mean, no, 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 yeah, I, I, I feel it. But um, with me, I definitely can say I played around before. Oh God, yeah, I, I've been in that. I've been in the hot seat with with a few females before, man. It's just crazy. So it's like I was just doing the wrong thing. Like I know, like I thought about, like thinking about, thinking back about it now, it was just like I was playing around. Like I could have, I could have had some good relationships. I could have set myself up good. Like you know, I ain't gonna name drop now because I can't. But I mean, I, I definitely if I could go back to time, I change. It's definitely some things I would change though. But I mean, I think like why being didn't you young, could get in that relationship? I was playing around, bro. Like being yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was a little young than I was now, but I mean. It was just certain things you didn't want to give up, bro. Like you just, you just enjoyed that that freedom and that, you know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> just being, being doing, being able to do what the you want to do. The multiple yeah. birds and the bees. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, well, but, I mean, multiple. Let me comment on this. Uh, you know, I'm talking to Andre. He says he's at a show, so he can't. He's not really as participative as he wants to be today. But uh, I know it does. He said uh, he doesn't yeah. believe that a title is necessary. Yeah. You know, if there's an agreement between the two, the party saying like, you know. Like that they're gonna do the right thing to each other, so uh, you know, and that he was in a relationship for eighteen months with no title. That's a whole year and a half of a titleless relationship. But I feel like look, but it was still like a I said earlier. Nevertheless, I mean, like I said earlier in the show, if y'all two are both grown and y'all both know what it is, y'all don't have to have a title. But if y'all have to have a title, she's all over your back and this long and drawn out of a whole friendship stage. Then clearly one of you two are playing around. See, there's a difference between friendship. And a titleless relationship. I just wanted to sit here, but I'm not about to sit up here and get but all see, over. See, the crazy question right about that is, what are the boundaries of that? That's what we need to figure out from these females out here. So they need to the call boundaries? in. And, they need to call in and tell us what are the boundaries for the titleless relationship. Wow! wow. wow. So I'm still out here acting single, or or what? Do do they set boundaries for themselves, man? Like that's what that's what we need to know. Uh, hey, hey, question. Call in. Call give in. us the boundaries. Yeah. What were not? Four four eight twenty two hundred. Call in with that with y'all opinions. On Somebody signed us off with some crazy. Questions. Somebody signed us off with some crazy because it is Juice's birthday. We're not about to be in here and be some lame. I, I don't know, but my, my song is about to come on, man. So sign us off with something crazy. <laughs> Somebody just sign us off with some crazy way. Birds and the bees sign out. That's not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so That's wow. not good enough. <laughs> I was getting the Randy sign <laughs> out. Birds and the bees, y'all. We'll be right back. That's not good enough. We're not. Even you sign us out. Birds and the bees, we're not even sign us out. This is you. you you've been talking to this female for some some odd years, you say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not some odd years, it's four. That's four years. How do you get that's a lot of time? That's solid. That's a long time. Right that's solid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <That's, laughs> oh man, well, I don't I don't know for real, man. That's a good question. I feel like you would have to tell both of them though. But you're not answering I mean, my question. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're not answering my question. 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 You're not answering Dude, well, you know that. Don't, that don't, do not say that again. Okay, 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 all right. Now this is. I think this is an evident question. You should care about the person you talked to for four, four years as opposed to the person you talked to for two months. What if you build a stronger bond with that girl for two months? You know more about. You know what I'm saying you. You felt like 
your relationship is stronger than the girl with, that you've been with for four years. It's this possible. is true. It's it's possible. Possible. Okay, 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 okay. okay. What happened? I'm just asking you a question. It all goes down to the more you're sorry, you're more no, 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 no. I don't know, that's why you tell both of them when you, hit, you, when you face the hold music on. for both of them. Hold you on. know what I'm saying? Hold you face the not... music for both of them and see where you end up at the end of the day. Let me just let me just tell my listeners, I'm not trying to pull none of you know out of Kim Dale. I'm not trying to pull the obvious answer. I want to hear the Kim Dale long word answer. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> you want yo, you want me to come out on some crazy though. That's what he's trying to <laughs> no, no, say. You don't want me to come out on some crazy, just say savage or something. I don't care about one person. Like I I, 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 I don't care about the both of them. I don't know what you said. Look, look, look. You are the love Baby, what would time. you do? What I would do. <laughs> what would you do? It's so crazy. You know, it's so crazy. Okay, no, because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I, I am Dr. Phil Jr. You know right. what I'm saying? That's why I asked you. This question, I, asked you. I just really don't have an answer for it. Every, who would you care about more? That person that you spent four years with or that person that you had a strong bond with for three months? You don't want me talking in circles, do you? No, I want you to get straight to the point and tell me I'm so savage three months or four years. Three months. You know like, why? Uh, hey, hey, this might be a good point about to make. I just know you want to say a wavelength. See, look, man. For everybody yeah, come yeah. here. They always ask me for the savage answers, and I always give it to them. Let them know, B. Because there's a reason you broke up with that girl for four years. You didn't throw all the history away for nothing. That is a good answer. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a good answer. I said that's a good answer. You you started that's out. You started out right, a, a new leaf. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's crazy. crazy. You gonna say that? You know what I'm saying? Why would you try to? Why would you ruin that? That's crazy. I didn't think that about that. Really. You know what I'm saying? But, you have for four months. But that's what I said, years. though. I said that if you go, you got to tell them about the past so you can move on. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Birds and the bees, what's going on? Wow. Neck, 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 neck. All y'all get neck. Wow. Why, why we get so neck? Why do we get neck? You guys are crazy. First of all, what you mean you gotta pick the girl for three months over four years? Because look, the only reason you feel like a girl for three months is because think of my turn when you met your girl for yeah. three years. You wanna come and get it? Let's talk about three days, heavy, heavy. Say nothing to the three month girl. You gonna say something to your four year girl? No, 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 hold on, no, 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 no. I know, I heard what you said. I'm just saying, like, follow me on this, right? So you say something to that four month girl. You know, you get back in, you know, in the whole little, you know, swinging things with your four year girl, and it's the same thing over and over again. I understand the history, but it's only so much a person can take. And y'all, and that's why I broke up in the first place. So, you know, you know, so maybe she didn't support you. I mean, or maybe she was just crazy. Or maybe you know, this, that, and the third. Who knows when you broke up? But y'all broke up for a reason, right? So what then? I'm asking you, what do you say to that four-year girl because she's crazy? She doesn't care about you. You broke up with her for a reason. You don't want to get her hopes up. What do you say then? Okay. Now, what are you telling me? You can't do it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Be the three years there, and then go take three months back, and then be the hundred for years, and then be like, ah, oh, man, it's the same thing. And then we turn another thing after. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it all down. I mean, yeah, I don't want to mess up a couple times. You can find that, but you know, you gotta tell me how to do it, and you gotta just know that, all right? Even though that's crazy, man. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Let's pick this one out. Let's have that be talking about it. Let's have that be talking about it, man. That's a good point, man. I see. I see what you're saying, but this is where loyalty kicks in. You know what I'm saying? So you got that four year girl. And sometimes it's a rocky road, you know what I'm saying? Not everything's going as smooth as you want it to be. But you got to stick it out at some point because you, if not, you just got to repeat a cycle. You just got another three-month girl and another three-month girl, you know what I'm saying? So where does that loyalty kick in? If not, why shouldn't it? I'm you got to question that fuck out of a man and be like, all right, man, like, am I going to be real? But if you still love them, you're going to understand the steps. But then the steps are going to move you for the person you're going to leave. 
you can't have to be doing a lot of doing a lot of things that you have to do a lot of things that you have to do a lot of things that you have to do a lot of things that you Hey, I, I agree with you on the aspect of uh, it's going to mold you to a man, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the, the mistakes that you make in your previous relationships will will further you in your in your next relationship. Alright, bro, thanks for calling. Hey, man, but still, Mark, since you don't have to talk about You don't. You just stay single. Put me to it. Wise words from decent man. Alright, good luck, bro. I'm out. Hi. All right, all right, all right, Thanks for calling. Look, man. Wow. We see him. Uh, <laughs> let, let me just let me just say this right now, and let's get this out of the way right now, because everybody's getting on my nerves about this right now. Oh. Y'all are tripping, man. It's just a show. We just we just talking. Oh my God. Hey, relax. Hey, no, it ain't no name. Hey, no, 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 no, Hey, what's up, Dad? What's good? Hey, so, um, something that he said tonight, the recording, <laughs> um, he said that the real hot relationships is going to be getting right on the same number of shoes. Well, he said that it was going to keep happening if it just happened in my first relationship because it just wasn't working out. Well, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's what he I mean, but you know, no, nobody really knows the future. Nobody can really see, so nobody really knows if that's gonna happen again or not. I mean, what I'm just saying, like he said, like it's just bound to keep on happening, but it's really like not because sometimes even if it's a rush in my life for four years, it might just last for four years on empty hope or something. But like that doesn't mean the third month thing is gonna keep on happening and in future relationships. Just because it happened before, it just happened before because it obviously just wasn't worked out for the person. Thanks, Gab. You always get some good insight, dog. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Young and with the crazy insight, man. Hey, yo, but I mean, it's been some crazy, crazy points on both sides. Like, even where Abe came from and then where she just came from and then even where Chris came from. Because it's like... Hey, when you doing that, when you got, when you split a, a situation with between two girls, it's like you got to sit down and look at all sides. Like you feel me, like before you even make a decision, because it's like you got to take everything into perspective. Like, like I said, you got to look at the, you got to look at why you broke up with the one girl exactly. in the first place. You know, because you know for history, many years. Yeah, you, you need to look at history too. Look at history. Yeah, definitely look at history. That's look at look at the problems y'all had. Look at the communication. Did they, you you know, got to break everything down. You those problems get solved. Yeah, sure. right. Has the problems ever been solved? Or have they always been problems? Like, I mean, all that all that stuff just go into play. And if it don't, you know, even with the new person, then I mean, you looking at red X's on both of them. You know right. what I mean? And you can't. And there is an option where, you know, just like Chris said, you could just sit back and just stay single. I mean, you ain't got to be committed to anybody if you just don't want to. Yeah. You really don't have to. And just I mean, take yourself out of the equation. Yes. But... But once again, I need everybody to just calm down because we, you know, we are seeing tweets where, you know, you know, with our hashtag. It is crazy. With yeah. our hashtag. Oh, man. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. It's real. What? Crazy. It happens, man. Hey, man. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand that this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell y'all about it in a minute, man. This is just called. Birds and Bees, what's going on? Pops, what's up? What's good? What's good? What's good? Hey. 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 What you see, what you see. 
feel or what you touch, you know, what you feel. I mean, when you, when you don't have all those things, then, then, then the Lord leaves. And, you know, if there was one woman, well, it might, might have something to do with security, might have something to do with the visual, the physical, or whatever. So it's, but for me, it's, it's a little different when you ask the question. Which, you know, if, if a person who is 50 years old, who's been through a bunch of experiences, and um, the question is posed to him, what do you know you're in love? His answer is going to be a little different than someone who's 21 years old, and he had a couple of bad experiences with a couple of girls. I'm not kind of, you know, genuine for a little while. But more senior time, I might say, well, that's the way to live. You know what I'm saying? I got you. So you're saying um, it's all about experience. So you 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 can't put a number on it. That's what you're saying. Ain't no number on love. You can't. No, I, I think that you that you can't um, put a number on it. It's 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 tough unless you have um, enough enough experience. But how do you know when you're a very good radio host? <laughs> you don't know until you do it. That's true. Exactly. Exactly. Love and loss, being rejected, then with the different personalities and different people. So there's no such thing. So you you feel like there's there shouldn't be. Oh, my pops talks to you. I mean, with having these experiences, then you know it makes it easier for you to figure out when you're in love. All right. So, quick question: um, Can there be um, like sweethearts, like high school sweethearts? You know what I'm saying? So. Somebody who hasn't built or had that much experience, but they've been with that one person for this amount of time. Can it last? Can it? You know what I'm saying? That's my question. Well, unfortunately, a lot of those relationships in, they, they, they really kind of firm, especially when they get married, because both of them have unrealistic expectations for a relationship. You know, there's, there's a lot of other things that come into play. When you have few sweethearts, you, you don't own the house. You don't have to pay bills. You don't have to do anything else except, you know, do your chores at home and go to school. But once you are together as adults, when you get outside of the house, get outside of high school, then, you know, you got money, you got to deal with um, bank accounts and spending and all this stuff, and all that stuff comes into play. Love and love at a certain point once they start having arguments and stuff like that. Yeah, that definitely make a whole lot of sense. I mean, you have a high school sweetheart. That sweetheart ends up, you know, they just didn't break up. I know a person who got back into a relationship and subsequently married the woman three years later. They just could not mesh when they got out of high school. They liked each other, they even really loved each other, but they could not be together as a man and woman at that particular time. They were mature enough. We didn't want it. But three years later, after they had experiences and four marriages on both sides and kids, they felt like now it's the time for them to get the job. I got you. So you, it's basically you just got to grow up together and um, just experience life together to to realize how far y'all gonna go. Have to be the true. Have to be able to handle the ups and downs of dealing with each other. Because it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna to be tough. <laughs> All right, and it's tough for reason. You got each other's back, and you want to make sure the good person is the right person. You don't need a good person. You know, you you need your kids. You take your care of each other, you have each other's back. But the potential. Alright, yeah. You think you're going? Yeah, yeah, We definitely, we definitely uh, hear what you're saying. Um, yeah, thank you for the insight. We do appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate the time, man. I'm doing a wonderful job. Keep it up. Very provocative. Very provocative. Right, thanks, Pop. Thanks, Pop.
Alright, man. Somebody sign us off, man. So we can be soft. I think I'm soft that we get back into it, bro. Where's the beat? Where's the beat? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Explain it to him just before I got to God. Explain it before I got to Alright, I'm going to just go ahead and say this. Everything that we talk about this show, on this show, comes from, I mean, I clearly comes from our experience. You know, like, we, we, we done been through some things, so, I mean, we all, we all got input on stuff we talk about. I mean, that's just how it go. But, we are not taking any personal shots to anybody out there. Please tell them again. No personal <laughs> shots. We ain't name dropping. We ain't doing none of that. It ain't even about that, man. Hey, and if you do feel some type of way about it, you know what I'm saying? Don't tweet about it. You know what I'm saying? Call the show about it and talk to us personally. 419-448-2200. Man, what? what you say? No, can I'm you trying to get it. it. <laughs> He said, call the show in. What are you talking about? Uh, I ain't mad. Don't tweet or text about it, you know what I'm saying? You don't, get, you don't get people calling me here crazy and cussing. Ah, oh, man. That's better than that. I'm just going to have to bang with everyone. You're tripping. Ain't no like, better than that. What are we talking about? Right. Who side are you on? Practice? Randy. Practice? Oh, wow. Look, Randy, I just don't want to have to do it to you. We got to run for the servers, bro. They, they just got to get served. They got to get served. But nobody wants to put themselves through that. I just <laughs> don't want to have to do it to anybody. Look, yo, we going to flip to this next segment, though. Um. Yeah, I know we are, Randy. Can we, um. <laughs> can you still be friends with the next? Yes. Um, can they? That's the better question. Yeah. Can they have to uh, someone you love? Can you still be friends? The main, the key word is friends here. So you're not asking the great question, Randy. What's the great question? No, we all don't answer that. Yes, you, yes, you can still be a friend with her, but can you be my man? Him, him, nah, him or her? But can you do it without having sex? That's the question. We're right? not talking about friends with benefits here. You know what I'm saying we're just talking about strictly friends. Um, my take on it, I'm gonna start it off. Um, if you're in a relationship, I feel like you should, that person should be one of your closest friends, you know what I'm saying? So you, if, strip, strip away the title and all that. Y'all should still have a bond, a mesh, regardless, you know what I'm saying? You wanna see how they doing, you, you gonna talk to them, maybe not as, as often as you used to, but you, you know what I'm saying? You gonna ask to see how she's doing and talk to her and see how she's feeling, you know what I'm saying? Just that um, emotional connection that y'all have. I see nothing wrong with that. But you just gotta restrain yourself. I mean, y'all know y'all haven't y'all done had some history in the past together. But you know what I'm saying? What if it just didn't gotta, end well, Randy? Then what? If it didn't end well, man, you somebody gotta be somebody gotta be the bigger person. But if I mean you know you can't force it. Oh, if, I'll if, if y'all can't be if y'all um if it doesn't it doesn't always break off for y'all to be friends in the end. Oh, I'll slide to the mic on that. I've been in that situation too. Touch the topic then, Juice. I'll slide to the mic on that. Like I like he was saying, like if it, if you know, I mean in terms of breaking up like you always want to like work it out as adults you feel me work it out be y'all want to both be you know big people in the situation right you don't be able to you know solve things you know go on with y'all lives and you know be friends you don't you don't it don't always have to be messy and you know all that other stuff but you but sometimes i mean you got if somebody like y'all in a relationship i mean they just can't be a part of your life no more not right. saying that you have any ill will towards them or you know y'all just don't you know, you hate them or you want them to die or, you know, ain't nothing like that. You know what I mean? You, they That's just can't worst. be a part of your life no more. Like, you, that, may, that might mean putting them on the block list or, you know, just never speaking to them again. I mean, not saying that you, you know, you want them to die, to die but I mean, like, you, they just can't be part of your life <laughs> yeah. no more. So, I mean, you, so you yeah. say you can't be friends? Yeah, you can't be friends. You can't be friends? So, I mean, in, in some cases. I'm not saying in all the cases, but, like, in some cases, like, no, you just can't be a part of my life no more. And I, I do know it's just bad for my health. <laughs> That's not good for nobody, man. Like sometimes it's, it's either person can just not want to be involved with you anymore. If you, if you guys aren't in a relationship, it's going to hurt them too bad to see you with somebody else. I'm saying if you guys follow each other on a social network or something like that. And you right. see, she's sitting, that person sees you talking some type of way about another. They just might feel just upset about it. Just get um, just have these feelings rushing toward them again that they don't want to experience. So they just gotta cut you off completely. I do see what you mean on that. Yeah. yeah. Avery, Avery, what's your take? It ain't always gotta happen, but it's gotta happen. Look, man, I feel like y'all could be friends, but y'all can't be friends if y'all didn't have y'all didn't have any closure when y'all exited out the relationship. Y'all, if y'all ended on a bad note and y'all suddenly yeah. come back and talk that's about another, it, that's another point. You I'm cannot, say you cannot be friends because there's still gonna be feelings in there, um, and there's still gonna be a lot of bad blood. But um. Either bad blood or good sex. One of the two. Oh, man. What, what are you talking about? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my. <laughs> man, look. 
Hey, today, oh, okay. I just today was late, bro. Today's late, bro. You all over everybody. I just don't want to have to go with the break. You know, you tripping? <laughs> hey, with, uh, but you're the main joint. Hey, you're the main joint. 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 you this man said, wow. I just, know that, I just know that Kendall was just going to, we do this all the time, try to bring his Dr. Phil segment into it, and he's just going to try to pull me into it, and he's going to get everybody what I do is, back. For real, I like to just, I like to bring an opposite side to the topic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to, side, side, everybody, to hear everybody. He loves playing devil's advocate. Yeah. That's what yeah. I, want, I do, though, you know That's what I'm saying? Does. I like to hear it. My mom's all over you. Yeah, if y'all know Kendall, I know a lot of y'all out there know him. He, if, if anybody can make you mad, it's him. <laughs> And whatever y'all doing, I'm talking about y'all can be walking on the sidewalk, y'all can be eating some food. If he ate it before you and you didn't eat all of it, it's over with you. I know how to make, I know how to I'm bring the work out. It, yeah, it's terrible. Like, he, you, he would really make you mad. And I said... This is how I explain being being friends with Kendall. See, either you friends with him or you not. There's no in between. There's no yeah, we cool. It, That's true, just, man. It's, 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 I'm talking about you. You can be playing basketball with him. He can miss every single shot the whole game. But if he make that last game winning shot, you, you can't tell him nothing. I've been talking to you about it for a week. You won't hear the end of it. You go here for a week. I don't care if you score twenty points to me. I got that dub and that game winner. I can't tell him nothing. Oh my god, I'm talking about he. He he's just crazy and. And the other part of being being Kendall's friend, and I know the NBA and all y'all, I know y'all understand what I'm talking about when I say this. Anywhere you go with Kendall, you have to be ready to fight. <laughs> it's just something about him that just makes everybody just so upset. Everybody is always upset, he man. Makes everybody upset. That's I, I make everybody does. upset, For man. example, for example, I know y'all remember this. I, we was in, uh, we had a party out here, um, and we had threw it out here uh, last year, maybe. And we in the club just doing nothing, just chilling. And this dude walked, walked up to Kendall, shoved him, and told him that he's trying to work and he don't, and he don't like his face. He, he walked to the other <laughs> side of the room. Face. And he walked to the other side of the room and was staring at Kendall the whole time. Kendall was like, no, man, I just man, I just don't have to do it to him, man. I just don't have to lay hands on him. And once I heard that, I knew. Once I heard that, I knew it was almost as if I needed to send the bad signal in the air and the symbol all the crew around. <laughs> That's the get to fight. But what we didn't know was, we was all just ready to fight and... Out of nowhere, this man popped up with about 17 other people with him, and I just, I just said I just didn't know how to get into this fight. I just didn't know how to come save Kendall because he likes the big ones. He likes to fight the big ones. The hey, smaller ones is not good man. enough. <laughs> hey, man, we getting off topic, man. Kendall, we got to get to your point. What's your, what's your take on this, bro? And I was just, I was just saying, like, you know, what I'm saying, I feel like you can be friends with that person, but it all depends how, 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 how deep you are into your new relationship or. But if you're not in a new relationship, y'all could be friends. For, definitely, like, on some crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, still kicking and everything. All depends how angry that relationship ended. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them end so bad and everybody wants to fight it. And, you know, girls be burning clothes and, and doing stuff that you just can't get over. You know what I'm saying? A girl burn you $100, $200 jeans or something. You know what I'm saying? You upset. You know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 $80 shirt. You don't want to talk to her until she replaces it or something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So... It just all depends how how the relationship ends for real. Yeah, I mean, there's sometimes it's like like I was saying, you just gotta be at peace with yourself. Like, make peace with yourself. Don't be coming back on no trash on some. Well, give me my stuff back. Give me all the stuff <laughs> I bought you, man. Like, yeah, no, no grudges. Yeah, man, it ain't about all that, man. Like, you 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 do what you gotta do, say what you gotta say, and you go your way. The Saudi road. Yeah, <laughs> that's silly, man. Like I want to. You gotta have some closure in the words. If it's if it's really that bad. You got ended on a bad note. Well, I, I want y'all to call in and let us know. Anthony, call in. What's up? Like, can you still be in a relationship with your uh, your ex, or you know what I'm saying? You still have some type of relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a, a friendship, or or is it over with? Like when yeah. y'all done? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to my mom. Yeah. Don't talk to nobody. Like it's over with. Like it's all ties. We can't even. You know what I'm saying? Don't even look at me. Is it over with? Or is it, can y'all still? Because I'm I know saying some people still cool with the exes out there. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it happens. It does happen. And I'm not gonna sit up here. And it's another subtopic to that. Are you or in a relationship? Are you cool? Or if you're in that new relationship, are you cool with her talking to her ex? Being cool with that ex? Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. I flipped it now. I was on my phone. Say it again. All right. Now on a on a subtopic to that, if you're in that new relationship with that female, are you cool with her talking to that ex? Being cool with that ex? As cool with that ex? You know what I'm saying? I feel like um. 
I feel like uh, <laughs> it's made juice. Oh, um, man. depends on how long they they've been broken up. Um, and if you feel comfortable enough, uh, where you can actually, first of all, I think you have to talk to your your significant other about it and tell them whether you feel comfortable or not. Um, and whether or not you feel like that person has ill intentions or not. Cause that, that 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 really you know really does spark up because you know a lot of people do you know getting their feelings after a couple months say wow I really need this person back and then they will come and try to ruin your new relationship. There's no greater plug than the X man. He's already he's already been in your shoes. He can easily nobody can take your girl, <laughs> the girl that you're working on better than the X can. You know what I'm saying he's already been in that position. It ain't nothing to get it right back. You are crazy man. There could be a new guy coming sweep her off the feet. But he who's in a better position than that X? He already knows everything she likes. He knows where he messed he's up. He's an X for a reason. Exactly. But see, everyone in this room has played the X back door, man. <laughs> That's not even oh, crazy. God. It's not possible. <laughs> Explain to me what the X back door man is. You know exactly what well, the X back door man is. Uh, let us know. You, you, you play the role of that X who, who just still has all the power, you feel me? She might have think she moved on and might be talking to somebody yeah, you know, or whatever. But then you just come in and swoop her right back. <laughs> Like, uh, you thought? <laughs> you're everything. Huh? Yes. No, no, no. It depends on. And we've like, all done it. Oh God. I think it really depends on, um, you know, if the whole backdoor thing is gonna work. Depending on how how long they've been together. If they've been together for a couple months. Okay. I can get that. Yeah, I can get that. You can swoop in like never before because it's almost as if she's been single for about three months. I could definitely get that. It doesn't matter. True. If they've been together for a year, I, you just might be out of there. You're out of there. Yeah, that definitely got it's some truth just, to it. But at the same time, you never know. I'm just being honest. This yeah. is true. Unless they had a real, real... You could bump into her, have a little casual conversation, they think, you know, she... No, I don't say that. I mean... It's work. It's no, yeah, no, she no, no, I don't say like, that. Unless, unless y'all really had a real, real... Like, you know, like I said before, a messy breakup. And right. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm talking about, like... Like swinging and all that, like y'all really terrible. Like no, like like plan over turn. Then you should have to worry. Yeah, we got a phone call. Y'all. Birds and the bees, what's going on? What's up? what's up, bro? What's going on? What's up, take? I'm calling man because you know I, I'm hearing this talk about if you can be friends with your age or not, and it's like. most because you're not engaging in anything. A friend. Well, basically, that's what it sounds like. Like you're a friend. You you don't know whether you want to talk to her really. You're not doing anything uh, sexual with her. It seems you might not be a friend at all, actually. <laughs> Is it dry when you talk to her about like what's going on? Like, do you is it a dry conversation? We have a conversation kind of day, like, you know, how you doing? We catch up. Dry. Because 
What if you try to move on and you know what I'm saying? You, you what if you find something worse? You know what I'm saying? You think you find better, but it turns out to be worse. Would you try to go back to that uh, ex of yours? Man, you gotta come back. Like, if you find something worse, I don't want to say go back to your ex, but that's just me personally, you feel me? Because, sure, you know, you move on. Something worse come along. Okay. But, that's when you gotta have your own confidence and your own pride to be like, I'm still me. I feel like I got the offer and I can, oh, yes, you know, go out. Superman. I feel like, I ain't gonna cut you out of your mouth, but I feel like I can take the offer for you when I am out of here. So, if I'm right, you know, I got the offer and, you know, you know, I don't know, compare to, you know, still in mind, but it's kind of like that, you know, you know, you, you make a shot, you make a shot, you make a shot, but you can always make another shot, you know, it's not about if you're missing, it's how many you make, and you never know what you make to be the grand winner, you know, so you always gotta look, like, yeah, you know down, you found something works. Thanks. But just cause you found something works when you move down to all those men that oh, somebody still out there that can hold you down. Oh, sorry, Get him out of here. So thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Thanks for your insight today, bro. Appreciate it, bro. You already know. Thanks for listening. All right. Appreciate it, bro. Um, but with that, um, we do. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought it was going commercial because we do. The question that I asked this, that I asked him. What? Which, which the last one I asked him? The last the the, the, the caller? Yeah, the caller. The one I just asked him. I just forgot what it was. Okay, but well, it was a good question. If you remember, then we'll then we'll come back. But we got we got to sign off because we got to do work on Wednesday. Yeah, so, that's true. Somebody so somebody sign us off. Just my birthday, please. Somebody sign us off. This is the music. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, man. I mean, I ain't got no hard bars, man. It's just a little soft, little poem. You feel me? A little poem that I just hit it. It's some soft, something soft, man. Boo! <coughs> All right, man. <laughs> hit the. Hit the. <laughs> no, no. Who gonna show me what love is? Cause I ain't got a clue. Y'all females ain't about it. I know how y'all do. Be complaining about this and be mad about that. But when it's time for a conversation, I can't get a text back. I ain't trying to be annoying, but just tell me what it is. This ain't even about sex. You ain't got to have my kids. Let me stimulate your mind. I'm talking true mental ecstasy. And shortly after that, it's going to be you who can't stop texting me. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, he tried to... That's a little bit, man. I ain't saying... Oh, 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 who next, man? Randy, I ain't even done with mine yet, so let Randy I'm hop in. Avery. He wants Avery. Oh, he called Avery. So Avery. Avery. I don't know why, man. Go ahead and drop those oh, joints. You've been waiting God. for so long. I'm in here sweating, man. Everybody tripping. You ain't got to do it. <sighs> Let's see. Who next? 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 Bars make your body shake. Lyrics make you levitate. 237 heavyweight. Bars are just a featherweight. World play Wednesday. I'm just a dude to do it. So the bars down. Call Juice Man. Tell him to chop and screw it. I'm colder than Alaska Tundra, but I'm hotter than Atlanta in June in the middle of summer. Tell your coldest girl to come over. No time for these females calling. I'm on a money mission. It's icy outside. You know y'all females be tripping. I'm starving on fair. I'm a savage in the jungle. I'm a liar. I'm a beast. I'm Godzilla on these bars and I'm simming these streets. <laughs> Die. It's over with for me. Oh, you got wow. the freestyle. Wow. Joins have to come up the top of the dome. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to the best of us, man. I'm not going to be instrumentals, man. Get your freestyles ready. 
Right. You got these instrumentals, get your freestyles ready, B. <laughs> You're so flustered right now. Oh, you tell me which ones you need. If y'all listen to earlier, man, Kendall all fooling. He was doing a five fingers of death, man. I was, he was. Playing, I was playing any and every instrumental. He was just rapping. He jumped around the whole time. Oh, what the whole what first forty five minutes? Yeah, yeah, man. I was What's up, bro. You want an instrumental or what? Just give me the whole time to chill, man. You, you know, go first, and okay. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna give him five that. fingers, man. We can do that. Oh right, yeah, I was just thinking earlier. I just had to write something down for the show hit. Um, I, I had something prepared, but I, I decided to go off the dome a little bit. All right, so here we go. Mind pacing, my thoughts racing. Mouth running, I'm Usain. Scratch that, more like insane. I'm in pain, this is strange. I need change. No, scratch that, man. I need change, like scratch-offs. I need bread. Pay a dollar, make a thousand. Them odds just might get even. Ask God how to help the people. He told me, getting something to believe. That's where I am. That's where I stand. Once, once was walking, but from there I ran. You heard the story. Go and hit the lottery. If you pay attention, you might make a grin. Ah, ah, I feel like everybody understood what you yeah. said. Yeah, I heard all the bars. I just don't think they understood. I think you need to you slow think, it down. Should I slow time. it down a little bit, man? Just slow it down just one more time. Bring it back, man. He said, "Bring it back one time." Slow it down. Slow it down a little bit. <laughs> I'm over here, man. My heart beating, man. For real, my pace and my thoughts racing. Mouth running. I'm Usain. Scratch that, I'm more like insane, I'm in pain, this is strange. I need change, no scratch that man, I need change, like scratch offs, I need bread. Pay a dollar, make a thousand, them odds just might give me even. Ask God how to help the people, he told me, give him something to believe in. That's where I am, that's where I stand, was once walking, from now I ran. Oh uh -huh. man, I lost my place man, was once walking, but from now I ran. You heard the story, gonna hit the lotto, if you pay attention, you might make it great. I don't think y'all got the I don't think y'all got the I don't think y'all got the I don't think y'all heard anything. Hey, man. Hey, man. We ain't out here writing for no reason. Let's go, Red Play Wednesday. My phone dead. It's time. I know y'all probably hit me up on some winning start or whatever. Listening, go ahead and call in right now. 419-448-2200. Call in. Please, please, boy. Let us know what's up. Don't interrupt these five fingers. That's about to come. I don't know what's going to happen, cuz. I'm going to play a I'm going to play a beat. You gonna rap to it? You gonna kill it? Everybody's That's so crazy, go. man. This this free time so go. Somebody use some headphones. I'm about to chop this beat up. Man, oh, y'all, they on my back, man. With my it's about to be these man. five fingers. I'm just not the freestyle, man. You Ooh. just the freestyle, man. I had to do it. You ready? Y'all on my back. <laughs> you ready or what? <laughs> you ready? Don't look. You can't eat ready. Wow. You ready? Where be getting? All right, man. Just go ahead, bro. Hurry up, bro. Right now. Hurry up. <laughs> Let's go right now, bro. Let's go right now. Here we go. This is the on the right. Oh, don't do it, man. <laughs> I got to try and keep this clean, too, on the freestyle. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> ah. Mmm. Trying to spit some bars that ain't coming clean. Ah. Uh, don't step in between this fire. I'm about to get higher. I got the desire to be. Woo! I'm messing up. I ain't no rapper. I'm really trying to do it. Uh, I'm with my crew and we chilling. Chilling like a villain until the ceiling. This ain't rain, no. This ain't no ceilings. Don't talk about my rap and my text messages. <laughs> I know y'all on my back. Uh, just chill. Take a step back from the sack. Hey, I'm about to get it now. I'm about to howl hard. And if you got a problem, you can pull my car. We can step in the driveway and then do it. Chop and screw it. I'm about to hop on the beat on some slow mo. Uh, coming straight off the dome though. Uh, the show is like a promo. And if you got the bars, call in and show us, yo. All right, let's go. Let's go to this next about one. Let's switch the beat. Let's go to this next one. YouTube stuff. Let's Ooh. go to this next one. Five fingers, <laughs> man. I'm just freestyling. <laughs> Five fingers. Somebody <laughs> call in and save me, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody really brave enough to sit up there Somebody call in and save me, man. Nobody brave enough to do I this. I can't freestyle. <laughs> uh, cut it up for me one time, man. You want to turn it up a little bit? Oh. Hey. 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 Mm. Birds and the bees. We rapping on some other stuff. Mm, these bars can get really tough. Uh, I scratch my head when I don't know. 
About to rap another time just for the show. The beat is smacking. It's really cracking. So ain't no lacking. Get the packing. And then we trapping. You know it's going. Got the money. It's really flowing. You know it's showing. Got hey. the belts uh, and all the shoes. Uh, hey. You know I'm going. Uh, it's Kells. I'm it. turning up. He I'm it. turning up. Uh, and it's Kells. I'm burning uh, up. So call us up. Woo. Let us know. You really in it. You really in it. Woo. We calling. We talking trash. And we just... Oh, oh, teach me how to. Hey. Oh, 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 teach me how to. Hey, oh, mm. that's three. We got two more. Oh, teach me how to. Hey, oh, teach me how to. Call that, please. It's the five fingers you can't buy from me. <laughs> oh, all right, Kels, teach me how to Dougie. Uh, cause all the ladies love me. They really hate you, dude, cause you looking like a snuggie. I don't even know. I'm going to drink a huggy. <laughs> I can't do it. I'ma try. I'm up bad influence on the mic. I bet y'all laughing at me like psych. I'm trying to talk to you other dudes about life. Mmm, you nasty boy. Uh, thanks for changing the beat. <laughs> I had to say it. <laughs> It's so pretty hard, man. Uh, okay. all, all yours is one more, man. Get DJ Bill! Right DJ Bill! You don't need them, man. Please don't. You can call me. Ain't nobody there. 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 Oh, play it back for okay. me one time, man. Okay. I, 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 play it back for me okay. one time. I was trying to catch it. Okay. Just, just, just drop it back for me one time. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. 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 Mm. Rap about that. Hey. Big bears and I'm racked up. Call me Kelly Kells and you know I stay sacked up. Trapped up, no dapped up. I don't give you that boy, your boy. Woo! Had to stop it. About to get the cussing and dude, I had to drop it. On to the next, like I'm to the new topic. Ain't no stopping, ain't no fear. It's Kelly Kells on the radio. You hear him call in. Give her brother some break. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. Hey, I tried, man. Hey, 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 one more for me. Stuck with it. it. One more for Juice Man. One more. One more for Juice Man. He stuck with it though. What more juice man? Oh, oh man. man. Because I love oh, that. Hey, 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 I love talking and chilling with all my peoples And we love turning And they stay burning <laughs> I'm just chilling, chilling Hey, 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 it's all you got, you got to say, man We got to call it, man Hey, we in here Hey, it's always fun to hear it, though You know what I'm saying? I know my phone probably going crazy Because y'all hollering to me about how I suck Hey, look, you're good at winning songs, though No, 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 no. No, 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 no,